All right, guys, we got another project with the new Holland 4835. Having a problem with the air conditioning. When I bought the tractor, air conditioning worked. And, but once the engine got warmed up, it did not work. It started to get warmer. So gradually, say the first 15 minutes, blew cold. Then as the engine warmed up, hot. Got, it started blowing hot. So I put this in the heater hose, a shutoff valve to the heater core. And now I'm not getting heat blowing out of there constantly. So there must be another shutoff somewhere that stops the, uh, the heat from coming out to vents when the air is on. And that's supposed to be controlled by this here. We need to turn it to cold. It's supposed to cut off the uh, coolant supply to the uh, heater car. For some reason that's not working. So I just bypassed it with that right there. That's one problem fixed there. Then still no cold air coming on. The way the air works, you got your key on, the engine's running. You have to have the fan going, and then this is the air conditioning switch. You're gonna click, you turn that on, <clears throat> and uh, it will send 12 volts. It'll send 12 volts to this wire right here which I trace back to that wire that wire goes to this pressure switch here that checks for pressure in the lines if there's no refrigerant pressure in the lines it doesn't engage the clutch on the compressor so what I found was some burnt wiring. This wire must have been laying at one time up on that muffler. As you can see, it's a quite a long wire and uh, somehow it got laid up there. And you see there's a bare spot there. Somebody's been in here before and they spliced it there. And then they spliced it here. But it, it all this wiring went to that switch there, so I wired in a new piece and soldered it in, put shrink tube on it and everything. Then I went into a fuse box and uh, sure enough, these two fuses blown. That one there, if I can tell that one is blown also. It's broke right near the that part there. So one of these must have run power to that uh, pressure switch there. So now, once I change these fuses out, I was getting 12 volts on this wire here where I spliced that new wire in to that switch. So should have ice cold air conditioning now, especially with the shutoff valve. So that cuts all the hot water going to the the uh, heater core. Still, I haven't checked it yet, but I'm going to crank it up and we'll see how cold the air is it comes out. So that was a problem. Just some melted wires. I'll show you up on the motor here. See that wire? And the switch comes up here. See I'm jiggling it. Comes up here. Goes this way. So here's the wire. And I spliced in this red wire and it goes back to the wire I showed earlier. Comes through the firewall right there. I need to melt that shrink tube on there yet. I soldered the, all my connections. They also had they had a big piece of wire way bigger than it needed to be and it was routed underneath the water pump and it was laying over here. So it must have got up against the muffler one time. And then also, okay, so it goes through that switch. 
down there. Comes back up through the switch. It comes through this wire here, this blue one. And it goes to right here. The clutch and the compressor. So that's it. Comes through firewall. Goes down to that switch. If you're having that problem, you might want to check all the wiring. Comes back up through this wire into the compressor. That should take care of my problem now. It was just uh, melted wires and I'm, I'm pretty sure they must have been the wires where they were melted kind of jiggling around and they touched something under the on the motor here and uh, blew the fuse and then the air wasn't working. So I'm gonna get my temperature uh, infrared temperature gauge and we're going to check it see if we got ice cold air coming out here now all right here we go we're going to test the air conditioning now i've got my infrared temperature gauge I'm crank it up Some, uh, some bush hogging. 